what we do know is that anything that you see is made up of very very small particles one and they are made up of particles that's the first one and they are very 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 small now that you know this let us dive in and look at what the characteristics of these particles are and let's see what they are the first one let's do a small experiment okay let's take a little beaker and uh, we have water in the beaker and what i want you to do is as you see that beaker put a spoon inside right you look at the level of water and once you put the spoon inside what happens to the level of water it rises a little bit makes sense doesn't it the spoon occupies some you know some space therefore the water has to go a little bit up right somebody has to make space for the spoon right great because spoon also is matter it, it has mass and occupies space great now do something else put your finger inside you know yeah now now that you do that as well you notice that the water level is still going to rise a little bit but now let's do something interesting right put a put a few crystals of sugar inside yeah just drop a spoon of sugar inside and stir for a while yeah if you can keep the water a little hot it's easier we'll tell you why that is later so stir for a while and see what happens yeah you've stirred and after a while you can't see the sugar now why that happens in the next chapter but first of all the sugar is inside the water but what happened to the water level it did not rise right it's exactly there so is sugar not matter so sugar does that mean sugar does not occupy space or does not have mass or something like that we we know that's not true right you've taken sugar it seems to be occupying some space so what is happening here that's right as you stick with that question think about it right the only possibility or, or a very very likely possibility here is that there is something in between these water molecules which we can call space and let's see what really it is let's take this water if you were to shrink ourselves or equivalently zoom this out right what you're going to see is that as you notice the molecules of hydrogen with oxygen with hydrogen if you don't already know that that's it pretty much what water is right two hydrogens stuck to an oxygen and if you go inside you notice that they're not all stuck together each of it is stuck to each other but in between there is so much space enough space for a miniature me to walk around and to stay in so what does that mean even though what you look at around you which seems solid right things that appear to be solid things that our mind smudges over is solid there are spaces in between them and it is here as you can see the sugar molecules come in stick so what's really happening the sugar does occupy space but it occupies the space in between these molecules of water great so what's the first characteristic we observed that matter has space in between it even though it doesn't seem like it on the large scale if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now